What's going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over and breaking down the brand new Gen Key Force promo. It's live right now, including how to get two free 96 overall champion cards from the promo. Now, before we jump into all of the content, and I know you guys hate when I plug my own channel, but bear with me for a second here because we are really getting close to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So do me a favor. If you're new here, you watch the entire video, you found it helpful you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button we're gonna get to 100k either tonight or tomorrow and i want you to be a part of it many more videos on the way regarding this promo because there's a lot to talk about but let's go over the basics and again two free 96 overall cards are things that you can earn from this promo so we're gonna start out with the solo challenges very unclear if this is a multiple part promo they didn't say it on gmm but i think it's only gonna be one part so in order to play through the solos you have to unlock lock the gen key force jamal williams and put him in your lineup the good news is that card is part of a welcome pack so i'm going to back out of these solos in a moment and show you that welcome pack and include how you can actually upgrade that card to a 97 overall when you go into the milestone rewards though there's going to be some weird items in here that are very confusing if you're maybe just recently playing the game there's a bunch of 90 overall fictional created player cards that ea put into the game to go along with the theme of this promo now these cards and we'll probably make a separate video on using them and the boosts that they provide but basically each of these cards and they named like five or six of them on gmm this morning and said that they would all be earned via solo challenges but from what i'm seeing here there's only four of them in the milestone rewards so basically putting these cards in your lineup whether they are starters or backups are going to provide additional boosts to all the other players on your team at various positional groups so again we're going to make a video focusing on these once i unlock them all so i can show you the boosts but because they're 90 overalls i know you're probably looking at them with a big thumbs down and a frown but these cards actually can be very helpful to make the rest of your team better even if you put them at backup positions on your lineup screen so again we'll focus on that in a future video you're also going to be able to earn xp for the field pass which is really really important for this promo in relation to the two free 96 overall cards so you definitely want to play through your solos but like we said first you're going to have to open up that welcome pack so in the welcome pack it's going to contain a couple different things pack animation card art on this promo is top notch loving the whole anime theme on it so we got a mutt tip we got an 87 overall jamal williams and then an additional mutt tip basically this card can go up to a 97 overall and i'm pretty sure you can do it for free so if you go into the upgrade path and scroll over with your d-pad look at the upper right you're going to need these upgrade tokens to basically boost this card upwards and with just tokens alone you're going to be able to get them to a 95 overall now if you want to get them to a 97 overall it's going to be very similar to the Super Bowl promo in what you're going to need and Gen Key Force Champion, which are one of the 96 overall cards to put in the path of this card to bump him up to a 97. So 95 for free, 97 is going to cost you a 96, but you can get two 96s for free. And if you ever power these cards down, you can get that 96 back, whichever one you may have put in the upgrade path. So it's up to you on if it's worth it or not, but there's a bunch of other additional boosts and ability slots within this card and essentially you can get this card up to 99 speed now again i know there's a lot going on with this promo but we're probably gonna have to make a separate video on the jamal williams card alone because i want to grind through and try to upgrade it myself so i can show you guys with everything in my possession obviously i can't do that right now but at the end of the day get this card out of the welcome pack put it in your lineup even if it's running back number three and go knock out those solo challenges right away now when it comes to the field pass for this promo i think i found our answer that there will be a part two to the promo because in order to max it out, and I'll go through the rewards in a moment here, but if you look all the way at the very end of the field pass, which is going to be level 21, you need 34,500 XP in order to fully max it out. Well, I went through all of the objectives available right now, and there's only a total of 21,500 XP, which means more needs to be added. So we are more than likely going to get a part two, and that probably explains where those other free 90 overall cards from the solo challenges that were revealed on stream this morning are going to come from they will probably add an additional sequence in there or add on to the milestone rewards to give you more stars more solos to play to earn those stars to get those rewards back to the field pass here so you're gonna get yourself a strategy item early on you got a bunch of season four xp in here for that field pass which is under two weeks away from expiring we're almost at season five already we got stars which are going to be the new alternate currency for this promo if you look towards the top where your coins and your points and your training are you're now going to notice stars probably 
at zero. The first way is going to be playing through this field pass to earn those stars. We're going to talk about how these can turn into two free 96 overalls in a moment. The Jamal Williams power up or upgrade tokens are going to be in this field pass as well. The first one's going to be at level five. I've been getting a lot of tweets that when you try to put this token into the card that you got from the welcome pack, you're getting a server error. Hopefully by the time a lot of you are watching this video, that will be fixed. But for now, if you're running into that problem, that's likely why you're not alone. You're also going to see these elevation passes for low cards and high cards. So these actually can go into the upgrade path of heroes, which are 93 overalls and champions, which are going to be 96 overalls and give them additional discounted abilities. So these are really, really important for these cards, more XP, more stars. There's going to be a 93 overall hero pack at level nine, actually level 10. So you should be able to earn this one right away and probably either tonight or tomorrow, I'll drop a video going over the best one to take from this pack. But as we said, there's likely going to be a part two to this promo, which means there's going to be more 93s to choose from. So it wouldn't be a bad idea if you earn that pack, you know, over the next week or so to hang on it and wait and see if it updates. Now, if it doesn't, not a big deal because at level 20, you're going to get another one of these. And I don't think there's going to be enough XP because we said there's 21,500 available. You need to get to 32,000 to unlock this pack. So by the time part two drops, this pack will then be available, which means more 93s will likely be in there. Let me go back here. Another upgrade token at level 15. There's also another elevation pass. This one is for high cards. So the low one that we showed you earlier will work in 93s. The high pass will work in the 96s and the LTDs. And again, these will give you additional discounted ability buckets. And at the end of this field pass, which we talked about earlier is level 21, you're going to get more stars. So there's no free 96 overall coming from the field pass itself. You're going to have to spend these stars in the store to get those cards. We're going to show you one other way that you can get those. Now, one additional thing that's a little bit confusing to me here are the upgrade tokens for Jamal Williams. We showed you how many you needed to power him all the way up, but there's only two available right now in the field pass. If you look at all the objectives in that field pass, these are the things you need to do to earn the XP to level that field pass up. Under the set section, if you complete a hero or champion set, you're going to get 1,500 XP. You're also going to get a pack, but from what I can see, I can't tell exactly what this pack is. So this could end up being another way to get one of those upgrade tokens for the Jamal Williams. If anybody completes a hero or champion set, let me know exactly what you got down below in the comment section for completing this objective for whatever that pack is. Cause it's, you know, it's a very small image. You can't see it. Also one very small way that you can earn stars here outside of this field pass is in this objective here. You're going to get 10 head to head wins or solo battle wins. You get a hundred stars, very minimal amount. So again, these, these are all the things that you can do to earn XP for this field pass to get all of those rewards. Now, one other additional way to get rewards for this promo is the house rules. And we now have a tug of war house rule. So basically you kind of start at the 50 yard line and you go back and forth. You and your opponent keep getting the ball for one play back and forth, back and forth. If you start out and you throw a pass, you get to the 20 yard line. Your opponent, opponent now has to start on the 20, meaning they have 80 yards in front of them to get a touchdown. If they happen to score 80 yards in one play, they win that game. If they get back to the 50, then you get the ball back. And now you're at the 50 and you just kind of go back and forth till somebody scores or I believe until a turnover happens happens. Actually, I think a turnover just means it puts you back to wherever that original play started. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're really, really quick games. So they shouldn't take a very long time. Now, there are no rewards for this house rules in the form of like a reward structure where if you get X number of wins, you get this card or this pack or coins or XP. Basically, you get 15 stars per win. And remember, that's a currency that you can spend in the store. So these games will go really quick. I know 15 is a very small number, but I think they're going to add up really, really fast if you're playing through these games a lot. And if you're pretty good at the game, you're not going to find it a problem trying to earn these stars. So just to recap one more time, to get these stars, you got some from the field pass. The majority of them are going to come from house rules based on how many games you're able to win, but it looks like you can play as many as you want. So before we go over to the players and the item sets, because I usually end my videos with store offers, I want to talk about the store because there's a couple different tabs that we need to talk about. Now this promo does have a few feature pack offers. There's a Gen Key Force Golden Pack 
So for a little bit under $20, you're going to get three 80 plus platinum cards, another 83 overall elite platinum player, and then your choice or your chance, I should say, of a 97 overall LTD. I think it was like 14% chance that you get a 97 overall. So is it worth the risk if you want? But I think the majority of you, you know, opening up this pack and spending your money are not going to get lucky with that 97. So take the risk if you want but I probably will not just because of those pack odds there. There is also a $100 bundle that gives you 12 Gen Key Force packs and then also five 93 plus players. So it's almost giving you everything you need to build out a 96. I would have rather it included like two 93 pluses and a topper of a 96. I also don't think these cards are good enough to be spending $100 on this promo, not within the ne very near future. We have the team of the year promo on the way, Ultimate Legends this weekend, season five in a couple weeks. I would be saving my money, plus you can get two of the four 96 overall cards from this promo for free. So I really think you should be focusing on the free portion of this promo and not spending your money on packs. There is a daily deal today for 250 points, which is about $2.50 to get a force bundle here, a mini bundle that gives you one 84 plus player and two 86 plus players. So this isn't bad if you want to spend a minimal amount of money. By the way, we also have brand new Redux cards in the game right now at 95 overall and also two new honors cards, 97 overall LTDs. We'll talk about those in a moment. So the Gen Key Force also has its own section within the store. There is a training reroll. If you want to do it, go ahead. I probably will not. I do want to skip over to the training section just to let you know the mystery pack did also go up in price because we saw an overall, a plus one in overall cards. Uh, but I really want to focus on the star offer section. So this is where you're going to spend the stars. And again, you're going to be earning these from the field pass and from playing house rules. Now, we let off this video talking about two freeze 96 overall cards. This is where you're going to get them. So the first one is by earning 700 stars, you're going to be able to get a 96 overall BND. Now, it doesn't say, actually it does. Earlier, it didn't say fantasy pack. Now it does. So you do get to pick the one that you want. Also, might not be a bad idea to wait until part two of this promo comes out if we get more 96s. The second option, and you can get these both because you can only open them up once a piece but the second option is for 1875 stars you get a 96 overall that's not bnd meaning that you can make coin off of it or it'll have some type of you know resell value when you're all done with it so i broke down the math here from the field pass you can get 575 stars by fully maxing it out so if you want to get this bnd pack that means you max out the field pass and you get nine house rules wins that would give you enough stars to buy this pack, and that's it. So very easy to get one free 96 overall. Now, if you rather get the non-BND one, it's going to be more expensive. So your option here is to max out the field pass again, which is going to be 575 stars, and get 87 house rules wins. And obviously, that's a lot of wins, but doing that will give you a non-BND card, which will probably go for five to 600,000 coins. So 87 wins, and you're probably naturally going to knock out that field pass already can amount to about 500k i think that's a pretty good deal now if you want to get enough stars to open up both of these packs one bnd 96 one non bnd 96 you're gonna have to max out the field pass and get 134 house rules wins for those of you that are no money spent i think you should go after that that's what i'm gonna try to do on my no money spent account i know 134 wins sounds like a lot but this game mode is gonna go really really quick here and you never know they might add more opportunity to earn these stars from part two of this promo so that's how you're gonna get two free 96 overall cards as champions from this promo and there's some pretty good options out there there's only four of them and hopefully we see a part two that gives us not only more objectives which will likely happen but also more cards uh, but for now you got dk metcalf kevin bayard tremaine edmonds and rob havenstein to me the best two are going to be dk metcalf and rob havenstein especially if you use those those tokens those upgrade tokens the low and the highs remember we talked about those in the field pass the high token for havenstein gives him a couple good zero ap abilities and dk metcalf is tall he's fast he can run routes he can catch the ball so those will probably be my two recommended 96s to take for free but that's saying that without knowing what's going to be coming for part two now if you want to get any of these cards today you want to complete a set which is something you can do to earn xp within the field pass it's going to require 593s from any promo so this can come from any promo it doesn't have to be from this one exactly but you put those five cards into the set you get the 96 in return there's also some lower overall upgrade sets remember you do need to complete either a hero ch a set or a champion set to get one of those objectives done within that field pass and if you look all the way up down at the bottom here there are ways to 
to kind of roll lower overall cards up to the higher overall cards in this promo so if you have a bunch of binder trash you can essentially work your way up there we also have two ltds in packs we got a 97 overall kyle pitts and a 97 overall Cam Jordan. Uh, Cam Jordan, to me, I mean, you look at his price already. He's fairly inexpensive at 566K. That's kind of reasonable for this card. If it was going to be anywhere near a million, I'd say no way. The Kyle Pitts is really good, but we most of us got that free card from the MCS Madden Bowl just a week ago or less than a week ago. So this card seems a bit unnecessary, but some of you might want it. He does have 97 stock speed. It might not be too difficult to get him to 99 speed. So I totally get it if you want to go after this card. Uh, and again, the four champions here, along with the LTDs, if you use that token, potentially can get some good zero AP abilities. I want to try some of these cards out before I recommend which ones to use and which one, what abilities to use on them. But that is a possibility. Uh, we mentioned NFL Honors. So there are two more NFL Honors cards in packs right now as LTDs. And then they also have two 96 overall versions. It's going to be Joe Flacco and Will Anderson Jr. The Will Anderson card actually doesn't, doesn't look too terrible because he can get Speedster for 0 AP and also Double or Nothing for 1 AP, which to me is the best pass rush ability in the game. Joe Flacco looks like a pretty good card. I'm pretty sure he's going to have Slinger 1. He will not get Eagles Chem. I know a lot of people keep asking me that. We bullied EA into doing it last year, but this year they're just not budging. They're not doing it. He had an AKA card earlier in the year that they wouldn't do it for, and it doesn't look like they're going to do it on this card. And then finally, Finally, I mentioned Redux card, so a bunch of 95 overall Reduxes did come out, including the Reggie White and the Megatron. Here's the thing. There's no Redux pack offer out right now, so a lot of people are going to be panic selling these cards. If you happen to have any of the LTD versions of these 95s, I think tomorrow is going to be a better day to sell them because panic sellers are going to panic right now. Then prices will probably go back up. These cards aren't going to be extremely rare or in packs or on the auction house, meaning they will be rare because there's no Redux pack. And last time when we went to 94 Redux, cards we did see a redux pack come out that saturday so a couple days after so i wouldn't be surprised if along with ultimate legends on saturday we see some type of redux pack offer which means the ltd versions of all of these 95s will still hold a little bit of value going into tomorrow night and early on saturday morning but for now i wouldn't rush to sell these today because a lot of people are probably panicking and selling them right now. So there is the promo for now. Get that Jamal Williams in your lineup. Go knock out the solos and then jump on house rules. I would be trying to accumulate as many stars as possible to get those free 96 overall cards. And I'm going to be hanging on to my stars until part two of the promo comes out next week to see what other 96s we get. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.